you know, uh, we had uh, Abhijit Chavda uh, a few weeks back. Yes, and, yes, uh, yes. Uh, that show became very popular because uh, he took on Gandhi in a different light. Yes. Gandhi is, according to some people, is very uh, highly overrated for his contributions uh, to the Indian yeah. freedom struggle. Or at least yeah. he shadows over the different... Uh, kind of people and activities that happened and that eventually led to the uh, Indian independence uh, being sought right. in 1947. Right. What, according to you, was Gandhi's role? How do you see Gandhi's role in the Indian independence? <laughs> so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a complicated question and, and I don't want to get too much into that particular thing. But my approach to the whole thing is that... Uh, we look at the Indian freedom struggle with a very singular focus, right? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as much as effort Gandhiji had in unifying the nation and putting it together, in my opinion, the British did not leave India because we were doing Satyagraha and we were singing bhajans. That's, in my opinion, that yeah. that was not the one. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm not undermining the fact that he did not unite the nation, you know. So I have seen, heard stories of my forefathers who were uh, a, a very big fan of uh, Gandhiji and their movement. Um, mm -hmm. And, uh, but was it a comfy relationship with the British? Was he completely independent? I, you know, the jury is out and I'm not able to comment on it because I have not studied all of his things in great detail. Uh, so I have not really been able to give you a fact factor on that. But when I did hear about uh, a speech by Ambedkar, uh, which was after independence and in, on BBC and it's actually on YouTube, he says that Gandhiji's role was very negligible, you know, during that milieu of time. And also, actually, the prime minister of India was visiting uh, India after independence. I think he was on a private holiday with his wife. Mm -hmm. And he, in one of his interviews also uh, says that the, the, the contribution, why he left uh, India, uh, Gandhiji's role was minimal. And mm -hmm. he says it was Subhash Chandra Bose because of which, which we left, you know. Mm -hmm. So those things are all documented in my books, the newspaper cuttings, all of those things are there. So I don't want it to sound it's like my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's the it's the it's the milieu of time during that time, you know. Uh, all the people were talking about it during that time. That's what it's I interesting to because uh, I mean, uh, Prime Minister Attlee was uh, the predecessor of Prime Minister Churchill, and uh, Churchill probably took cognizance to Gandhi uh, as a big threat to the British rule in India. And there are these contradictions uh, which need to be studied, uh, like you said. Yeah. I think uh, there needs to be more literature produced on how Gandhi was particularly perceived, not just right now, about mm -hmm. how big a role he played in the Indian independence movement, but also back then, because there seems to be varying literature on uh, this. From Yeah, no, so I, I will just give you a comparative analysis on that. You know, right. if, let's say, Gandhi was considered and Eru were considered extremely, uh, you know, dangerous to the British Empire and its existence, right? Mm -hmm. Why was people like Savarkar and Sanyal and Barin Ghosh sent to Andamans, right. right? So my question is, if he's that, uh, if Gandhiji and Nehruji were that dangerous to the British Empire, why were they not shipped off to Andamans? British could have done that. There was nothing preventing it from that. Mm -hmm. And in my book, I have gone through the depth of the torture which the soldiers had to, where the, where the prisoners had to go through at Andamans. Right. It's, right. it is, it is, it was, I, I mean, it was difficult for me to even write that, the kind of tortures uh, which I had to actually edit out. Yeah. So, so I'm, I'm really not sure whether that was like a mutual relationship or was it completely independent? the jury is out on that, you know, and I, I don't want my book to be one versus the other. I want everybody to understand this movement and then make a call what role and what percentage each role played. Yeah. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Namaskar.